This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV. We're in Belfast here for This is Belfast here at the Odyssey Arena. Fight on the build tonight. Jamie Collins to become the new WBO uh, European Super Flyweight Champion. Seventh round TKO win over Benjamin Smoes. Um, talk to me about your performance. Like it was a, a good performance. I systematically broke him down. <laughs> 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 Go on, carry on. Uh, I felt good. I felt like I was loading up a wee bit too much at times, but uh, I was working the body shots as well. Was working well, and uh, finally got him out of there. I knew, I knew it was just a matter of time. I was actually enjoying myself in there. I was spit got it. That was on a bit early, and I wanted a bit more crowd there to, to g me up a bit. But I was I was happy with the performance. You had him down in the sixth round. Talk to me about that. I, I got him down, and I heard a big a whimper of him, and. Uh, he gave me a wee look like he wasn't happy and I thought I actually didn't think he was going to get up but when he got up I was I was chuffed like I, I wanted to work more I was enjoying myself and I, was, I wanted more rounds and when he got up John said that when I'm back to the corner he's going to go in the first 30 seconds we went out and crank the whip on him here and pick it up so I went out and just do a, a few clusters of punches but the damage was done in the sixth mm. Seventh round obviously the referee I mean he, he made the count but the referee yeah. brought the contest to an end so uh didn't find him in any fit position to be continuing that fight. No, I think he was making faces and noises that like he wanted out, but he actually did get up for a play him, and I wanted him to, to keep going because you actually got you was actually moving your arms. Yeah, get, get, yeah, yeah, get, get up, get up, get up. And when he got up, I was like, yeah, come on, because <laughs> <laughs> it was I was enjoying him, but we're just putting the punches together. And it wasn't even blowing. I wasn't even breathing heavy. And it was. I felt I felt like we could have worked more, so I was happy. Mm. Uh, 11th win for you now, uh, 7 inside the distance. This WBO belt will uh, move you somewhere in the rankings, so that's got to be your, your aim now to move up that WBO ladder. I, I, was, I said earlier that uh, I'm a size 30 waist in jeans and I don't have a belt, so hopefully this one will hold it up for me. Um, it's a nice belt, actually. It's actually lovely, it's really it is, heavy. It? It gives it over. It's a lo lovely belt. And I see. Belt's bigger than you, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely wee belt, yeah, isn't it? You don't expect him to be at next to him, it's gorgeous. Definitely. Is that yours to keep now? Yeah. I see. Do you think, I don't know if it'll be too safe in West Belfast, will it? <laughs> 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 but I saw it's, it's a good, lovely belt. It's, it's a step in the right direction. Progress uh, on the process, as, as they say. And, uh, we'll move on next now. An hour stiff opponent. Hopefully, uh, defence maybe are another belt. I'm, I'm, I'm belt hungry at the minute. You are, mm. it seems you are. Yeah. Um, any idea on when you'll be out again? I was talking to the Blaine earlier and he was saying maybe the 23rd of May. Though they cut like so, with the time difference, I don't know what's going to happen now, but 23rd of May would be lovely and hopefully myself and um, Margot McCulloch top, top in our own bill in Belfast in the Waterfront Hall. That'll be wonderful. Because we are big ticket sellers. Yeah. Between us, I think last, last time and this time, we sold over like a thousand, thousand tickets between us. and. And and it's it's brilliant and we're in the same gym, we're always sparring together, fighting together, so we we'll bounce off each other, especially on tickets as well. My fans are coming to watch his, his coming to watch me and it's good, like if we have our own own shows, smaller hall shows, it'll be like a wee small cauldron and yeah. scare the shit down now on steps in. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I interviewed you was um after Frampton Martinez, wasn't it? Outside it's in the Europa. In the Europa. We outside the Europa. I think we went outside. Yeah, yeah. Was it outside or inside? It was in oh, the inside. I think we were, you were like asking me where to get hookers and where's the street walkers and stuff like that, was it? Oh, my wife's watching this. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. No, I'm <laughs> I ain't got a wife. Oh, right. I ain't got a wife. I ain't got, got a wife. wife. No. Fuck that. <laughs> 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 uh, you never really told me where them hookers come from anyway. Why should I share? I hope you don't have to share. You don't have to no. share the love, brother. Um, Alright, well listen, Jamie, congratulations. Very a great win tonight. Thanks very I'm much, Cooks. If you're happy, I'm happy. Oh, that's, that's great. And uh, lovely shiny new belt as you yeah. haven't got one. And the new nice short as well, huh? Everyone's getting naked in here, so I'm just going to... Uh, when Ian Miggy gets naked, we all get naked. <laughs> <laughs> Does it leave you salvating? Sa salivating. Salivating. Seven? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, thanks for talking to IFL TV Thank and you, uh, you can enjoy the, the rest of your night. Most creepiest interview I've ever did in my life. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're comfortable, I'm comfortable. <laughs> so, would you say to all your friends? <laughs> <laughs> Coogan Cassius, Jamie Conlon, aka the Mexican for IFL TV. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers.